Welcome back. And uh, Joe Nata is speaking to me today. Uh, Mr. Nata, let's continue the discussion. Uh, you were tried, uh, you were convicted under a criminal justice system in Fiji. Comparing 24 years ago and now that you've come out, do you have an assessment on Fiji's current uh, criminal system, whether it needs reform going forward? No, oh, thank you. Um, yes, I think uh, there needs to be uh, a lot of reforms in our uh, uh, penal system. That, uh, that, uh, uh, I spoke to the previous Attorney General. Uh, he, uh, they were doing some uh, amendments to the Corrections Act, and I told I did mention to him that we need to. There's a whole range of amendments and, and, and reforms that need to be done. Um, uh, people are going to prison. Uh, I know under the previous government they were just chucking pre people into prison. Mm. Uh, people coming in for stealing watermelons. Uh, uh, for there's a kid who came in who, who was angry with his father and killed a cow to have eat with his friends, and he paid back the cow. But you know, because the father's complained and there's you know there's you know, no drop policy, the guy put guy went to prison. Mm -hmm. Although the father went and pleaded with the police, you know, mm -hmm. I just want to teach my son. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there has to be, there should be an alternative. The, the prison system, the, the, the justice system, should be looking at alternatives. There's a lot of alternatives, and I will, I will, I can help um, with this prison rehabilitation farm. You know, that would be a. a, a a, uh, a genuine alternative because we will train them uh, uh, and help work with them and then settle them in their uh, land because all uh, uh, indigenous uh, Fijians have a piece of land you know can just go and settle them and then they can work out leases after when they've started to to earn money um, uh, prison should be the last resort, uh, but of course you know, there are certain crimes that you just have to go to prison. Mm. Um, but there are uh, hundreds of others that don't need to go to prison, it's unnecessary. And our system is full, mm. our system is, the, our prisons are full. Um, and there, the laws are there that can, you know, take people out and then make and make sure that it's a, uh, and it's a, a sustainable level. Uh, but um, I know I've seen it, and I think I I can contribute in you know uh, um, uh, emptying the prisons. Uh, of course, in a prison you cannot take away prison. Uh, but uh, at least to, to try and help in the rehabilitation so that people don't continue to go to prison. Mm. Uh, where are you setting up this farm? And, it's uh, up in Naita Siri. Uh, uh, the, the chief uh, of Naita Siri, the Turanga Nivalu, has uh, graciously donated a piece of land uh, and then we are working on the transfer. Uh, uh, and the, the the group that is looking after this, uh, they are, we are all ex-prisoners. The uh, Garivalu is our chairman, and then we have uh, um, um, Reverend um, Aratna Badada, uh, uh, Mr. Dakwin um, Raketi, and Twina Mosi, Ratu Suliano Madintombua, and a few few others. Um, so yeah, and uh, uh, because we we saw it, and we all think that we can contribute, and uh, and these are people in their own standing in community. They are people of substance that they could help in the um, process. And where is the funding coming from? And once it's operational, how many how many reformers would you have there at a time to? change their lives. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we, we, we're not seeking for fun just yet. Uh, we want to s set up first. Mm. Um, uh, but we've, you know, we're talking, we've spoken to the PM about it, you know, we've spoken to the Minister of Indian Affairs, you know, it was in the process of trying to find out, you know, what is the government's position on, on, on prisoners, particularly when the prisons are full with indigenous Fijians, right, and uh, now, now commonly called as the Tauke, 80% mm -hmm. uh, of, uh, um, 
of them are in prison. I know it's a Fijian problem, it's a Tokyo problem, and it's a Christian problem. 80% are Christian. Mm. Um, so we went there, but in the process, you know, they they've been forthcoming with you know uh, offer of you know how they can help in little way. But these are uh, you know bits and pieces of. Uh, but we haven't gone out to really seek help because you know if we need to start with knife and fork and spade and cane knives, you know that's what we're going to start with. Mm -hmm. Because the problem, the tendency is that people tend to look for funding, tend to look for support and sponsors before they can do something. You know, uh, but we will start first and then be going to, because I think the funding agencies, they probably want to see what's on the ground. Mm. Uh, and that's what we intend to to do. We've got the most important, uh, the, uh, the hardest thing is to get a piece of land and we've got that. Mm. Uh, and we can start with that. If you are successful with this project, uh, will that be a payback to the community that, yes, Jonata has paid back wholefully to the government? Uh, to the country of what you did in 2000. Well, like I said, you know, it's for me, it's penance and for me, it's atonement. But you know, I don't want to be, you know, that's for me personally. That's a journey, you know, in prison. You know, I, I, when I realized, you know, the errors of my way in prison, I was, you know, I wrote letters of apologies to people for asking for forgiveness, and I was ridiculed, and you know, people made funny comments. Uh, but that's fine, you know. I've still been doing that, and I came out, and I've been talking to groups, and, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, firstly seeking forgiveness, and also. Uh, offering to assist in whatever I can, um, I've uh, I think I've made known to the uh, the uh, corridors of power that I'm I would love to be of assistance in this uh, uh, truth and re reconciliation uh, 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 effort um, because my perspective in life has now changed a little bit. Uh, Things that were uh, used to be uh, important are not important anymore. Uh, uh, there are things that are more and more important, uh, like you know, how do we 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 we, we coexist as a nation? You know, the two major races. The, the conflict in Fiji at the moment are the conflict between the two major races, right? It, um, uh, and those are the, uh, the things that I want to to be involved with. Um, and we, unfortunately, we are still uh, sweeping a lot of things under the, car the carpet. Uh, that is why uh, we, we, we need to make a, a coordinated, uh, 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 conscientious effort to, to, to deal with the, the issue. The, the two main issues, you know, we, if we are to have uh, enduring stability in Fiji, uh, we need to deal with two fundamental issues uh, involving the two major, eth um, uh, major ethnic groups. One is for the Indian community, I think the tenure, the security as, as citizens of Fiji uh, 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 is very, very important. And their, their, their belonging to Fiji should never be an issue ever again, right? Um, and uh, there are ways of going about that, you know. Why do we still have the, 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 the Rural Development Authority or Advisory Council? And then we have a provincial council. Why don't Indians become a member of Naita Siri a provincial council and, 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 you know, the Lao provincial council? Or the, the, why do, those are the kind of institutional uh, 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 framework that was put to, 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 uh, to, to separate us. Um, maybe the intentions was uh, noble, but then, you know, we don't realize what is it doing to, to continue to separate uh, um, the, the, the ethnic groups. And for the Fijian to have enduring stability and, 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 and togetherness, the Fijians um, uh, issue of uh, uh, active and meaningful participation in the economic life of this country, the participation of Fijian in, in, in commerce, that needs to be addressed. Unless you address those two fundamental issues, uh, we will always have this uh, this tension. Uh, I have some ideas, and I would like to share. Um, I think you, you, all of us know that the Great Council of Chiefs is now being reinstituted. Uh, uh, I, I believe uh, the Great Council of Chiefs can can play a very important role 
uh, but it has to change uh, 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 drastically. I think the chief should also, uh, because uh, uh, to, uh, know the role that they can play. Uh, I, I can say, you know, although I may have flag for this, you know, that the chief had also contributed to the situation that we are um, uh, in in this country at the moment. But they have a role, important role. If you remember last year, mm -hmm. uh, during the the pyramid and the Rastuskura day, there was a document signed, uh, forward Fiji. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, that is a very very significant document you know if you if you recall uh, it was a document signed by all the leaders of the Indian uh, uh, it's a bit difficult with the Indian community because the, the social and the, the religious are almost the same you know the part of the Indian, the Indian Sabha, you know, the, and the, and the, the Sangam you know, uh, but all of them if I, if I remember correctly I think there were eight Indian groupies that signed this document mm. with the Great Council of Chiefs and the churches to me, that is a sacred document, and that document, forward Fiji, could be the vehicle to carry this forward. This, uh, um, uh, and the Great Council of Chiefs should not be involved directly. I hear, I haven't read the report, but I hear uh, they should be the vehicle, right? Uh, uh, so as long as we still have Indians fearing about the stability in Fiji, the, the belongingness in Fiji, and as long as the Fijians are still behind in economic participation, this issue will continue mm. uh, to remain. For us to have a, 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 a genuine, um, uh, meaningful, and enduring uh, um, reconciliation and uh, those are things that need to be addressed. Why haven't we spoken one language apart from English? You know, we speak the lingua franca, business language. We also need to speak, you know, um, uh, Hindi and Fijian. You know, initially, I asked this question with both uh, the late um, uh, Ratu Sekamisesimara and the late Jerram Reddy, uh, Mr. Jerram Reddy. Uh, why haven't we, you know, why wasn't Hindi or Fijian compulsory in Fijian? You come from Rakaraki, uh, you know that there is web where there is an understanding of each other's language. There tend to be a bit of harmony, a bit of uh, at least tolerance. Uh, and I remember the answers at that time, they were, I was not convinced and I told them, look, uh, you know, you, I, I hear you, I've heard your answers, but it's, it's not convincing. I know why, and I told them why. And why was that? You know, you go and tell them differently when you're campaigning. It tells you say something differently privately, and you say something differently. It was convenient for for, for politics, but I think the time comes now we have to learn at least one language. At that time, I thought that Hindi was the language we should learn in school because it's an international language that it's useful when we get out of here, Fiji. But now that we are called Fijians, I think we should learn Fijian, mm. uh, compulsory, uh, at least up to uh, class eight. And then there is more to being just called a Fijian, mm. right? And I, uh, we need to uh, at least uh, know, know the culture. This is why if you if we live in Itasiri, you belong to the, the, the said, you belong to, uh, to the village you're close to. And there should be some conscious, uh, conscientious policy uh, in uh, the, the system that, you know, that, and then to encourage being together, being, oh, and when you say I'm from that village, you know, you, there is already, you know, working together. Uh, those are the kind of fundamental thing, like the leases, you know. You know, I, I, I believe that leases should be held in the owners of the, 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 the indigenous owners and then um, uh, uh, sharecropping. You know, it, I, I know it's 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 not the normal. You know, people want to have the least title to their own. But you know, what you know, why don't we use the skills, the business skills, and 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 uh, uh, of the Indian population, and then the land, or you know, the Fijian land, and then see how they can uh, work together. Mm -hmm. There are ways. There's a lot of ways. But we just had to put on our thinking hat. Uh, I've done a lot of thinking, and I've done a lot of jotting down, and I've jotted down a lot of things, and I will want to share when the time is right, and I will. Mm -hmm. uh, um, sure. Mr. Another one last question for you. If somebody comes talking to you about power grabbing in the name of Itoke supremacy and a coup, what would you tell that person? Don't do it. Um, I, the word Fijian supremacy, I do not think 
perhaps that is the perception. Um, we should never think of that, and we should not be using that language of Fijian supremacy, because the the fundamental issue is that the Fijians wants to have a fair share of the economic. Uh, it's uh, I do not think. You see. Uh, I, I, in the conversation, because we are not discussing this, we are not having this open conversation and dialogue. That when you say Fijian supremacy, you know, I can say, look, you know, it's not Fijian supremacy. We just want to have a fair share of the cake, mm -hmm. right? And we are always, and you know, it's always thrown at us. Uh, you have 80 percent or 90 percent of the land in Fiji, and you still, yeah, but. Maybe we do not know how to use our land. You know, well, okay, why don't you help us to use the, use the land? Um, it's those kind of conversation. You know, um, you know, we throw this thing at each other, right? Uh, to hurt each other, uh, but we are not coming up with a solution. Um, Mr. Chaudhry, you know, he has a lot of things. You know, I, you know, if, well, you know, perhaps uh, if he had stayed long, maybe uh, he has a lot of ideas. You know, I think um, um, Richard Naidu talks, you know, talks a lot of sense. Uh, but then again, you see, when you you say it in that public forum, you know, people read it differently. You know, you're a Labour person, you're an NFP person. You know, if I speak about my my my, my about the Fijian and Tokay, you know, um, the sad thing is that any. Any 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 conversation you know, is you know labelless being racist you know racism and all that we cannot avoid the issue of ethnic ethnicity that's part of life but the thing is that how we demarcate and how we 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 we, we, we get into a conversation where we can understand each other and then when we say uh, we use words that may be inflammatory or or de derogatory or racist you know if Playing in the proper context, it may come up uh, with some, you know, meaningful uh, uh, solution. But I think our national effort should be towards working together. Um, I think uh, this government. I, I noticed that Mr. Rambuko was talking about a government of national unity. Whether that is a good thing or bad thing, you know, time will tell. But. Uh, I did notice too, with a bit of concern, he said, you know, we may have to do away with this uh, reconciliation thing. But you see, I, we should go ahead with this national reconciliation thing because it's important to have that conversation. It's important to dig out the nastiness of the past so that we can find our way clearer uh, in the future. Because if we continue to bury that, we will suffer this thing again. Mm. It will it'll happen again unless we, and, 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 you know, and then maybe take away the immunity from the Constitution. You know, people who have done it, they should not be worried. Mm. Right? Nobody wants them to go to prison. All they want is to know what happened. And I think we owe it to the people to of Fiji to, uh, to, 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 for them to know. Uh, and people who have been given immunity, they should not be worried at all, because I do not think anybody wants people to go to prison. I know some people, you know, out of nastiness or uh, vindicativeness or something they've experienced or their political uh, uh, affiliation, they say nasty thing, you know, he should be in prison. You know, he's still running around and those people in prison. Mm -hmm. uh, I, and I think my colleagues who came out of prison, I, I don't think they have any Ill, Ill will towards people. Uh, but I think if they front up in the Truth Commission and uh, and tell the story, investigate it, and if they're telling the truth, we go on with life. Mr. Nata, thank you very much, and thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>